having a piece of fishing line around the back axle. This tensions the mouse trap. Then when you let it go, the wheels turn, which propels the car forward. We drilled out the frame to reduce the weight of the car. We used ball bearings on the back axles to reduce the amount of friction. The back axles were thin, which enabled us to wrap more string around it. We used CDs for the wheels because they are light yet aerodynamic. We took the circuit board out of remote control car so that we would be able to steer it. We pre-tensioned the mousetrap using little pieces of wood and added more tensioning using rubber bands. We used steering trim to get it going straight so that less steering was needed. We used a long arm which enabled us to have more string to wrap around the back axle. Since our car went so far, we had to use two meter tapes. The first one is 30 meters long and the second one starts at the end of the 30 meters. So the final distance is the two added together. So the car stopped at, would that be 54 meters and 5 centimeters. To ensure that our car, would, our mousetrap car, would travel the greatest distance, we revised the back wheel wobble. Now they go straight. We put a steering mechanism on it, so it would also go straight. And we put rubber bands on the mousetrap for more force. The long body of the car worked well because it allowed us to use a long arm and to wrap more string around the back axle. The ball bearings also worked really well because the car rolled really easily. If we were to continue modifying the car, we would make it roll straight. That way steering wouldn't be necessary.